Crossman brings the industry's first $300 regulated ultralight. Coming up. AEAC is made possible by JSB Match Diablo, H&N Sport, Predator International, Air Arms, Crossman Corporation, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Sports Match Rings UK, Rapid Air Weapons, and Aztec Optics. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, Benjamin's brand new Fortitude is made right here in the USA. It's available in 17722, and Crossman's even kicking around the idea of a 25. It measures 42 and 3 quarters inches long, weighs in, whoa, at a feathery 6.6 .6 pounds, just as you see it here, to include a scope, mounts, a cylinder filled with air, and a magazine full of lead. It does ship with one 10 shot rotary mag. It does come in this black synthetic only, and you can pick one up for around 300 bucks. Now the Fortitude is both regulated and very hand pump friendly. What that means to you is when you fill its 135 cc reservoir to its 3000 PSI max, you're gonna get 50 to 60 good shots on that regulator before you see power begin to tail off at around 1500 PSI. Now that power comes in at a pellet dependent 17 to 20 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle, which it accomplishes by pushing an 18 grain pellet to around 700 feet per second, or a 12 and a half grain pellet to around 775. Now this rifle also takes advantage of a fully shrouded and silenced barrel, an 11 millimeter scope rail, a bolt action which is magazine fed, an ambidextrous stock, with sling studs, and a single stage trigger and manual safety. So, is it worth your time? Crossman's brought us the industry's very first $300 regulated 135cc ultralight. And that alone is going to get a lot of hunter hand pumpers excited. Before anything else, it's as described, but that doesn't mean others won't appreciate it too. I for one love the stock. It's one of the smallest and best shaped out there. Attached to the gun, it's all kind of long, but together they're just plain tossable. We've got a new piece of equipment here at AEAC. It's called Lab Radar, and it uses Doppler radar to measure the speed of the projectile from the muzzle all the way to the target. You can learn more about Lab Radar on my brand new sister YouTube channel, AEAC Vlog. And to the 3,000 of you who have already found me there, welcome. Cocking the Fortitude is heavy, and at times sticky, but there's no slop, and all forward movement is relatively light. For a discovery and approach fit on the Fortitude, hit me up on the vlog channel. You can also follow AEAC on Facebook, and to the 8,633 of you who do, thank you. Filling the Fortitude's 135cc alloy reservoir goes like this. First remove the dust cover, then hook up your foster fitting quick connect. Make sure it's secure and fill to no more than 3000 psi. You guys think I'm going to pump this thing up out in the heat? Y'all are crazy. All right, here we go from 1500 to 3000.
shit. When you're done, bleed the air between your fill source and the gun. Disconnect and replace the dust cover. That's all there is to it. Combine the Fortitude's modest power output with its shrouded and silenced barrel and you get one really quiet air gun. If you made it this far, you deserve to know. One of y'all is going to win the actual gun used in the making of this video. Crossman's also throwing in a Benjamin hand pump, a center point 3 to 12 by 44 AO scope, a rifle sling, and two tins of pellets. Sportsmatch Rings UK is donating a set of 1 inch scope rings, the ones you see in the vid, and JSB Predator a 22 sampler pack. Details on how to enter forthcoming. All right, guys, now the trigger on the Fortitude is not great, and it does make shooting the gun well considerably more challenging. Now, Crossman markets this as a single stage trigger, and when you first get the gun, it does behave as such. But as you shoot it more and more, and the trigger finally breaks in, it actually starts to act like a dual stage. The take up is clean, and it comes up against a nice, well defined stop. Now, with considerably more pressure added, and some creep as well, it lets off for you. Now if you want to improve the situation here, there are solutions out there for you. Hit up Travis over at Airgun Depot or Donnie over at Baker Air Guns. Six pounds, eight ounces. The Fortitude slings up well, and you can hardly feel it on your shoulder. On the sticks it's equally as good, but the hobby grade plastics can get a little slippery.
As you can hear in the downrange mic, I'm dealing with some crosswinds coming off the lake. They're blowing from 3 to 6 and are coming out of my 8. Well, that's all for today, guys. A special thanks to Crossman Corporation for getting the Fortitude into my hands to review for you, as well as for hosting our giveaway. Now, from here, you'll want to head on over to the Airgun Nation forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread and the giveaway on the Fortitude. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. As for me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell all your friends about us, and please be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, AEAConline.com, Vimeo, as well as our brand new YouTube channel, AEAC Vlog. I'll share things over there that won't make it here, and you guys won't want to miss out. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck, everyone.